Welcome to SRPG Plus, it's you guy Kappa Kai. So right after we beat the Angler Dungeon, which I'll also have some videos, maybe the boss fight in my boss battle series, which I'm going to try to just compile into one, instead of like my Breath of Fire where it's individually, I'll just have them all going at once. We are joined by a ghost, right? And for me, it happened right when I uh, came to that shrine right there, um, over in the animal the animal uh, village so yeah it's over by martha's bay where you gotta go and basically take the ghost back to his home and this is open up to you because after you beat the angler's dungeon you get the flippers i talked to this mermaid she basically tells me that if i help her i'm gonna basically trade with her to get another item which will be dope get a necklace to do that and then that's also another dungeon that we'll be going to um, I'll need the key first, I believe I... Or no, I don't even think it needs a key because it looks pretty open. I just need to get in there. And the ghost keeps going like, hey, take me to my house. And it's like, bro, I already know where it is because I saw an abandoned house before. And I was thinking like, this is probably for a quest or a mission later. Like, <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to take him. And this is his house right by Martha's Bay. And he's going to take some time and reminisce, which makes sense. The man's got to move on, you know? Get hit with them feels. Yeah, it's just like a little animated cutscene, pretty much with him. With a little bit of text. Feel bad for dude. Link is a trippy dude, if you think about it, in this game, if you know what it's all about. It's weird. Does he, like, give me some? Well, let's find out if we help him further. Has this dude moved on yet? Hmm. Come on, ghost. Okay, yeah, I can take you to your grave. And I do remember where the gravesite is. It's right over by the witch's place. And there's a whole graveyard, but to the left of that, kind of close to Abe Village, if you enter that way and go to the right, then go north of that on next screen. And you'll um, just move a few rocks, and you can get to the graveyard. And to the left, there is an individual one. And the flowers around it are even the same shade as that ghost, which is kind of like an indicator that that's where he goes. So we're just trucking along, taking him to his uh, grave. I just love the apples. <laughs> like just seeing Link pick it up and eat it in 2D is so sick. This art style is so beautiful. It's like in the last dungeon, the angler one, just the wet kind of like cement like marble just rock floor looked really good and some people are complaining about like frame drops and stuff like i've never really had a single one during battle the only time i've really run into it like bad was in the uh swamp and that was just kind of me trekking along with bow wow chomping through stuff so and it makes sense there's a ton of stuff going on there's water effects there's tons of monsters and there's tons of like objects that you kind of just like can't get through. So yeah, like I was saying, you move these rocks. All right. Feel bad for dude. Feel bad for dude. Hmm. What you gonna give me? Oh, wait. So we get our second bottle here. Now the first one we got was right in May Village going north. We fished it out. Uh, fishing right in the beginning of the game. Just gotta cast to the end of the water and pull it while avoiding fish. And the second one you get for helping this ghost. And right after this, Mr. Owl comes. So yeah, we, we talked to the owl and he basically tells us our next destination to advance the plot. This was another episode of Tips and Tricks with you guy, Kappa Kai. 
Take it easy.